Hey guys, Michael Teller here. Well, guess what it's time for, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for moment number 13 for Moments with Michael. Yes, I'm home now, so I'll tell you something. I had a lot of fun with my cousin, especially when he made the cameo in my last, um, <laughs> my last moment video. I mean, it was so funny. I could that's exactly what he's like. He's humorous. That's what he is. But moment number 13, Arsenio goes off on Queer Nation, posted by Runified, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, now this one, I, I think, you're not going to believe this one as I'm reading this. Arsenio is irritated and annoyed when members of the gay rights organization Queer Nation decided to interrupt Arsenio as he was about to introduce his guest Paul Hogan. Arsenio was ticked off at their protest and decided to respond. Okay, well, might be another moment that that we are looking forward to or something like that. You never really know. The question is, how did it turn out? Let's see what his response was. Let's watch this moment together. Here we go. The smile is never enough. The blonde girl is so funny while they were singing. She said, she said, Oh my God! It was so funny, so funny. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you, man. Why don't I have any gay guests on my show? Oh boy. What? I'm oh sorry. Boy. Why don't I have any gay guests on my show? Well, there are a lot of gay guests who really don't like to talk about their sexual preference, so we don't know whether they're gay or not. You know? Yeah. This ain't Merv. You didn't think I'd run from this, did you? This ain't Johnny. I ain't gonna run from it. I'm gonna deal with it. Go! Go, Arsenio! Deal with it! Deal with it! Go for it! Who would you like me to have on my show that's gay that maybe I haven't had? Who? Gus Van Sant. I don't know Gus Van Sant, but I know Elton John. He's been here and he's rocked the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the man Elton! Really good. Really good musician. What? When Harvey has something I'm interested in, I'll bring him on the show. Hmm. But this is my show. Okay. That's your show. This is my show. This is my yes, it's your show. This is my show. This is my show, man. Whoop, 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 whoop. You, think, you think I haven't had somebody on the show because they're gay? What's wrong with you, man? I'm black. I'm black, man. I'm black, man. I'm the biggest minority you know about. I don't want to hear that gay trash, man. I got gay friends I've had on the show because you don't know them or it ain't who you want on the show. You got a problem with it? If you want to book it, get yourself a show. Yes. Yes. Go Arsenio! <laughs> you go Arsenio! You go man! to you sitting out there and you sitting here it's rude and it's out of order the one yes. thing i would not to do would not do is discriminate against a guest because of their sexual preference to be honest with you there are a lot of gay guests on this show but it ain't none of your damn business that they're gay yes nobody's business should be nobody's business that's real stupid it's real stupid why don't you go over to the johnny carson show and ask him that question Stupid, stupid question. See exactly how he responds to it. Hey, the point is, the point is, this ain't the Morton Downey show. You. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. No, I don't do anti gay jokes. I do characters. Whoa. Just like I do McDonald's waiters. Just like I do jokes about politicians, Dan Quayle, or anybody else. 
I'm a comedian. Why is it that you can do a joke about anything and anybody, but when you do a gay joke, I gotta have idiots in here protesting over it. You don't see Dan Quayle here. You don't see Millie Vanilli here. What's your problem? Joe Arsenio. Why is it that I can't do a gay character? It's a joke, man. Loosen up and enjoy it. <laughs> Arsenio, you go, man. You go, dog. I'm a minority, man. I do black jokes. I do gay jokes. I do every kind of joke you can imagine. And you don't see people up here interrupting the show and being rude like you are. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? Go, Arsenio. Go Arsenio! You better chill. You I, I apologize. I apologize for myself and I apologize for them. Let's move on. Thank you. Thank you, Arsenio. Okay, we'll take a commercial and we'll come back right back with Paul Hogan and more poison. And I hope there's somebody out there watching. yet huh. you know my next guest is crocodile dundee his new movie yeah. yes in his new movie he plays almost an angel as a matter of fact that's the title of the movie and here's a clip of his character in action check this please welcome paul hogan Entertainment of all of these people. It was. You know? It was. I, have, I don't I'm a brother, man. Nobody knows more about discrimination than I do. I, you know, believe me, I have gay guests, I have gay employees. I could give a damn. I just want to entertain. And that was so stupid. I, I would like to show them how much I, you know, I would like to show them how much I don't discriminate. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 <laughs> There's so much Man, one of the best talk show hosts of back then, <laughs> Arsenio Hall. It's too bad his show was retired in 1994, but in all honesty, I mean, I can understand what happened with the ratings, but let me tell you something. He knew how to handle his show, and he knew how to defend his show. Because let me tell you something. With what I saw, I cannot believe how rude and stupid it was to interrupt a show in progress Asking if he has a... Uh, how am I going to explain it? Um, I know. Oh, yeah, I could be a pirate meanie. I <laughs> Okay, yeah. But, you know, asking Arsenio Hall if he... I mean, why he never had any gay guests on the show. That was none of their business. I mean, come on. I mean, that is just plain right stupid. I mean, I would never imagine anybody interrupting a show like that. And interrupting the entertainment of those people in that audience. 
That was just downright stupid and rude. I cannot believe that happened. Especially for today's society, I mean, a lot of things are becoming public, and it's just, I don't, I don't like the sound of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I'm not saying anything against it, but I just, I just don't like the sound of it. I remember a long time ago in the past, some people have asked if I'm gay. A very personal question. But, in all honesty, I'm very straightforward, and... I believe in the truth. I believe. I believe in a greater power than us. That's why I believe in God. But really, I cannot believe people would ask me if I'm straight or gay or anything like that. Well, I just don't like being asked personal questions. But no. I'm not gay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have gay friends. I even have lesbian friends. But I don't discriminate them. I don't discriminate uh, I don't discriminate them over their race or their sexual preference or anything like that. That's not the way I was raised. I was raised a whole lot differently. And that's what I believe in. I am proud to be a big believer in God and following him. And don't get me wrong, I have a lot of friends who have different sexual preferences, but I, I, but I don't judge them that way. It's not my place to judge. But Arsenio did the right thing defending his show. I just cannot believe how rude and arrogant those people were. And I just cannot, I, you know. But that shows a point that hosts can defend their show. Arsenio began hosting The Late Show in place of Joan Rivers for 13 weeks. And he did so well, that's why he was given the Arsenio Hall Show. He did a really good job with what he was given. He hosted it for, I know he started in 1989, it ended in 1994, so it lasted about a little over five years, if I'm doing, if I'm doing the math correctly. But, you know, he was a great host. And he did a really good job defending his show. So Arsenio, you go, dog. Woo, woo. There you go. All right. So that's the next moment for you. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I certainly hope that you have a great day or great night whenever you watch this. You take care.